Savage judges. My favorite kind of judges. My favorite kind of people in general. Also, you guys are on next. You guys are on necklace duty. This freaking necklace keeps turning and the back shows. So if you see it, just yell at me and tell me. <laughs> Wouldn't this be fun if this was actually live? I could see you guys like being like, Jaws, see your necklace, but I won't even see the comments until after I film. It'd be so much more fun if this was just live every day. <laughs> We're done, thank you. Wait, you're on yes. I have a counter suit. We are done. Your counter suit. I know you do. And I just said to you, we are done. But I have a police report We here. are. We are. I read your counter claim. We are done. What about we my are, police report? We are done. Did you hear what I said? Is, yes. This, take your wife. We're done. What's even the point in continuing to ask? What about this? What about that? She's given you the same answer for every statement you have said or asked about. I think you can guess what she's going to say to you next. We are when Judge Judy is done, she is done. I feel like anybody who has ever watched a video of hers knows that. Hood rat over here, got Hood hand rat. on hip. Yeah, look at him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did it, but he had it coming. That's Activity. hood rat. See, unemployed, no education, and hand on hip, striking pose, head waggling, and got attitude about what? Him cheating, lying. He un cheating, he upgraded. He didn't upgrade. You were a temporary he substitute. He was <gasps> a senior, getting ready to get his four-year bachelor of science degree from a university and okay. get big ducats. Okay. So he's got it. So somebody else with it says, uh, you can do better. And he's going, oh, yeah, I wish you'd come into life a little earlier. <laughs> Well, see, the other girl probably a lot more intelligent and even tempered. I mean, look what we've oh got God. going on here. And I'm assuming at least she'd be able to figure out what she did wrong. This is you savage. Know, the idea. Let's see the car. Mm -hmm. Look at her head, Bob. Let's keep going. Sass. Now. <laughs> He lucky he didn't get his windows busted, too. <gasps> she did all that? Why would he be lucky? Because I should have did more damage than that. Girl, you gonna pay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my, that's awful. I look at it this way. Your damages in terms of repair, $1,709. Let's make it $1,700 and another $1,300 in punitive damages. Because no. she did it directly. Uh -huh. oh, no. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. See, that's what I call hood rat. That's being ignorant and you're relying on trying to be fine. But you see, there are some very intelligent women that are doing some things with themselves other than being 20 and unemployed and acting like a hood rat. Okay, and I'm and not he a said, hood rat. oh, let me get an upgrade. Yeah. Uh, upgrade. <laughs> he got an upgrade. Senior. She'll oh be gosh. next year, whoop, junior whoop. now. Okay, Wait whoop, a minute, whoop. in electronic engineering, and, whoop, whoop. and that's a hell of whoop, a lot whoop. more advantageous to him whoop, whoop. than so unemployed with hood rat attitude. Talking about he lucky, all I did is flatten all four tires. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> and it's uh, going to cost her another grand. The jurisdiction Girl. limits five. Thousand, so your recovery is gonna be four thousand, one thousand seven hundred, and two thousand three hundred. Holy! And my dear, uh, this is binding, uh, and it supersedes any other applicable state circumstances. And you signed the contract. That's it. There's no appeal. Therefore, you got twenty three hundred and fifty. Oh my God! You're staring at for your ignorance. Now you take it as a little lesson in enlightenment. Yeah. 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 Now you're giving him a shot of wisdom and understanding. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to put up with no hood rat when I can get fine and intelligent and on my side and knows hood what rat. I'm talking about and it's right there at twelve midnight. Understand? <sighs> this is a lot. About yeah. rather than where are you? Uh-huh. You expect me to believe you working at midnight? Well, get ready for it. Look at got the hip position. <laughs> Head on. Look at Is this acting? Hey, 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 you get your award, young man. Move on. Stay away from this type. You don't have yeah. to do that. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Judge Joe Brown. Okay, this is Judge Joe Brown and the episode, it says, you're watching Bad Girls. So obviously this is like a series of like girls with attitude but like that felt like a bit much it really felt like you know i don't know i have seen people like judges go in on people like lawfully and stuff when they've genuinely done something wrong but like 
I don't know, these were like very personal digs. I don't know, it just felt like, okay, how many times can you call her that? Like, I don't know, it felt like a lot. She was real sassy though. She had the head bob, hand on the hip. Oh, that was a different level of sass, y'all. See, that's why you gotta keep it classy or else you get like in trouble like that. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. I didn't get all dressed up today to hear a whole bunch of test a lying. Just testify. That is genius. That should be a hashtag. Test a lie. I gotta use that in my life. Next time someone's trying to testify to me, I'm gonna say that. Say, listen, I didn't come here for you to testify to me. I, no, test a lie to me. Okay, maybe I should learn the phrase before I start. I will rehearse. Necklace check. <gasps> it's starting to creep out, you guys. You're not doing your job. Unless you are and you were in the comments being like, girl, we just saw your necklace starting to come out. Be quiet. <laughs> you're not gonna get any money back from I that, don't want you? any money back for that car. That's my car. Well, you're not gonna get any money back from that. Mine's an investment. You're still earning money on it. What on earth? Did you, did you purchase that car for her? No, did I didn't. Did you spend your money on it? No, How I didn't. dare you? <clears throat> Linda had a different view of this case. I was about to give a ruling. I'm afraid to say, to you, it might have been a different ruling. Chantelle, what's it got to do with you how she spends her hard received money? No, I agree, but I think if you can, I'm, at the end of the day, banks charge me interest for the credit cards and things like that, she doesn't. How dare you? The debts that you've accrued when you've been living rent free and utility free are your fault. How dare you comment on your mum's situation? That's what her mum. Bye. She can do whatever she wants. Okay. Linda, you lent your daughter a considerable amount of money so she could repair her car. I thought it was bad enough that that was just like a random woman in this case with her, but the fact she was talking to her mother that way, talking about her mother that way, oh yeah. He gonna teach you a lesson today, girl. Thank yeah. you personally. He said, can you move the fence so we can put this to rest? I said, The mayor? So we moved the fence. And that cost you how much? $2,300. $2, which, yep. which is why you have a counterclaim yes. against her. It was $1,800 for the fence to move, and then we had to take out all the footers that were and then that was an additional five. So then when you moved the fence, you moved it how far into your property? Six inches from the property line into my property. Six inches from the property. And how far was that from where the fence had been? Uh, 14 inches. Okay. So now the fence is on your property. Yes. And now is there a gap on her side that the back fence no yes. longer reached? There okay. was, yes. Okay. So how did she solve that? She put her, erected a fence. Okay, but she erected a fence because she had like a piece of wood and you guys told her, don't lean your wood on my, which I don't blame you, don't lean your wood on my fence. Well, what happened was, is when we moved the fence, um, the footers have to set. And so when you put stuff against the panels, it makes the fence lean in. Mm. Yeah, so and we, it's your fence and you're, and you're mad because well, she cost you $2,300, well, you could say it. I wasn't angry, no, I know, it was fine. I mean, I was in the wrong. She got the survey, I was wrong, I moved the fence. So you go ahead and move it as soon as the mayor mm -hmm. asked you. Good for him. And then, and you don't sue her for $2,300 for it because the mayor asked you to. Well, and I, you I also don't... don't give the mayor an affidavit from the fence guy saying, but she gave me permission. None of that happened at that time. You that just moved it. All right, now. He moves the fence. He tells you to take your plywood off of his fence. They don't want anything touching their fence. And then what happens? And then I have police evidence that they keep coming out and he's asking them for me to take that. That is two inches on his property and he wants the police to move it to two inches. Well, I also I'm sorry, is this a big shock to you? <laughs> you cost them $2,400 two years after the fact telling them to move it because it was on your property. You don't think that there's gonna be tit for tat here? Oh of my course God. he's gonna say that's two inches on my property. Okay. But, the, but you're indignant. Of course he's gonna say that. Uh, but see what, but it wasn't his property. It was my six, anyway. What Wait, no, tell I me mean, what you're saying. Was okay. it or wasn't it his property? The six, the six inches was the little bit that we have to go on each side. What happened is uh -huh. I didn't do much of anything because my husband was dying. He had dementia, Alzheimer's, okay. and I wasn't, gonna deal with anything and he was in my home the entire time till he died okay and and he had his I never touched his fence okay because he told me I wasn't allowed to he cost me thirty seven hundred dollars why put, put his fence on my yard right here is the survey right that's seven hundred dollars I got that right and then, and then I had to put a whole new I have a built-in pool okay 
I have to have a fence. Okay, but doesn't his fence count for you? If no, because he it had to be twelve. He would not let me go in that twelve inches. The twelve because and those twelve inches belong to who? Six belonged to him and six belonged to me. And why did you need to go? The, but did, you didn't foresee all this when you had the when you made him move the fence. Oh my God! Oh, I did. But then this okay. is how close he was. But I, 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 what I'm trying to explain to you is there's the law. Mm -hmm. and the rules and all that and then there's this is a lot. human probability and human nature okay so you can enforce the law and flex your muscles and make him move a fence that he put in two years ago and you oh were God. right you, you, you got the survey everything was fine why on God's green acres would you think that they were going to let you in any way shape or form lean anything of yours on his fence he wasn't and I didn't I was you just said he kept calling the police to because be, and, that was two inches on his property. Yes, you can't be two inches yes. on his property. But he was six inches. On oh my God! I would be losing my mind in this courtroom. <laughs> like bless him for not even putting up a fuss. I thought he was lying about the mayor coming. Apparently, it's true. Like he was just like, you know what? I'll move the fence. I'm not going to cause an issue. I'm just going to move the fence. Oh my God! The back and forth of two inches and. Two that stressed me out. Stressed me out. And I don't even have a fence. I don't even have a yard. And I feel like I do. I feel like I'm carrying the weight of this argument right now. And based on the decision of the jury, I sent it to you in count one and count four to life in prison without the possibility of parole. In counts two and three, I sent it to you to life without the possibility of parole. However, that's with a firearm, discharge, include charging death, which means hopefully that no matter what happens with the legislature, no matter what we decide on life or death in your case, you will never, ever be released from prison. Point taken. I don't know this case, obviously, but um, going off her energy and her sentencing, it sounds like he deserves what he is getting. Did you have any idea about this other man? No, I haven't. No, I didn't. Wh when did you find out about this? I found about this today. Today? Yeah. Today, right now. This court informed you that there was another man that could be your daughter's biological father. Oh yes. my God. Saying he is her biological father. Yes. So oh you were never, Miss Wandick, you never told Mr. Haggerty that you had been spending time with this other man and having dinners? No, Your Honor. I distanced myself from Mr. Haggerty. I was confused. That's just sad for the child's sake and for his. Cause he's like, I, I didn't even know that there could be a possibility that I wasn't the father. There's a lot of emotions in this video. We go from some highs to lows. We are on this journey together, you guys. Anita, yes. a man tells you his dog's not friendly. A man tells you his dog's gonna bite. A man is on the grass to keep his dog away from you. Why on God's green acres would you allow the leash of your dog to be long enough for your dog to do what dogs do, which is go explore? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you have a tighter leash and keep your dog closer to you mm -hmm. so that this doesn't happen and walk clear across the street so that your dog's nowhere near the guy who just said my dog's not friendly. He only said that one time. One time should be enough, Anita. One time, why isn't one time enough, Anita? Well, how I many more away. times do you need? One time should close. be enough. I wasn't that close to him. Your and dog got, uh, listen to the neighbor's testimony. Take a look at where your neighbor is. You allowed your dog to get on the grass because you had a nice long leash for your dog and you're not paying attention to the warning the guy gives you. A stranger tells you my dog's not friendly. Well, my dog is. Well, mm -hmm. my dog might bite your dog and your dog is on a long enough leash where your dog gets to say, we don't punish dogs. You guys understand that, right? Dogs are dogs. They do what's natural to them. We punish people. It's the people's behavior. He was farther away than, than what well, he If said. your dog's on the grass at all, please answer for me. Why? Why was your dog on the grass? He might have wanted to go pee. Yes, yeah. Why weren't you in control of your dog so that your dog, your poor dog, wouldn't end up on the grass mm -hmm. where this ends up happening? Because your dog ended up so seriously injured with bones broken and sticking out that your local vet thought it was over their head. And you ended up having to go all the way to Gainesville, a hundred and something miles away. And oh. mercifully, that surgery worked, right? Yes. And your dog, thank 
goodness, your dog is... is that, may, that just breaks my heart. It's not even about like being savage and getting your point across. I, like she's so passionate because it's like, the only one who is suffering here is your dog. Why would you put your dog in that situation? I just feel for the dog, forget the people. This man has said, hey, my dog doesn't do well with other dogs. And you allowed your dog and you put your dog next to a dangerous dog. That's terrible. God, my little Lila. I can't think about dogs like that for too long because I will literally shed a tear. <laughs> that just adds, I no, may not how ridiculous that looked. <laughs> I'm sorry, what on earth is that? <laughs> no, what is that? <laughs> Even the judge is laughing. Uh, you do forgive me. I do. <laughs> Now, I can certainly see why you get a lot of attention. Now, can I ask the um, gorilla to stand up, please? Now, step forward, just a, one step forward. S stay where you are, please, sir. Um, is this the costume that you wear? In part, yes. Uh, uh, understood. Uh, now, For what? It, the reason I, I wanted this gorilla to come in, and it seems very silly, <laughs> but I have to tell you, there were four 999 calls. <laughs> on the basis, this is true, on the basis that a real gorilla was on the loose. Yes. Wearing that costume. Yes. I mean, Come they must on. have seen or they might have seen the gorilla doing a drop. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done one of those drops, Mr. Gorilla? Can you show us one? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yes, that's exhibit A. You can go now, Mr. Gorilla. Thank you very much. No, no, no. No, not at least. I want the scooter. <laughs> You'll have to walk out. <laughs> can you help the gorilla? What is going on? It's not a pantomime. I truly have no idea what the hell we just watched, but if that's actually true that people were calling the emergency line saying that there was a gorilla on loose and that was the gorilla that they saw. You know what, Miss Harris? There are men that don't come see their children because they don't want to deal with a woman that acts like you. I'm keeping it real. But it's not because it's wrong or right. It's just because it's a reality of how relationships are. I can mm -hmm. see how frustrated you are. I've heard exactly because what you said. Because he's he cheat. But the point, I get that. That's why our relationship and dynamic is like that. You think I don't get that? So it's you, not uh, me. So no, 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 it's not about that. What yeah. I'm saying to you is it's not about you. It is about, it's about Kaysen. That's why I'm And here. that's what I want you to understand. Exactly. And what I'm saying to you is create a situation where your son has the best opportunity to have his father in his life and also for his father to care for him and be present to help you raise him. Is anyone else like Lauren Lake? That's Judge Lauren Lake. She gives some good advice. And the other judge, Judge Toller, that's how you say it in some of my other videos. Like powerful woman, powerful advice. Like I'm not even in these situations. I'm like, yeah, like if I was a mom, like she makes a good point, you know? It's making me reflect on my own life over here. <laughs> All right, guys, these are more Savage Judges. If you want to see more, make sure you let me know. Thanks for watching my necklace. I feel like I caught it. For the most sake, we will find out in the end when I check the comments, and I'm going to see if my necklace behaved or not. <laughs> Stay classy out there. Stay sassy, and I'll see you tomorrow.